We are Biffy Clyro. I'm James from Biffy Clyro. I'm Simon from Biffy Clyro. I'm Ben from Biffy Clyro. We are live at Reading Festival 2007 and you're watching Enemy.com. Our weekend's been great. It's really just begun. We just got back from Europe. We were doing some festivals and uh, it's the end of the summer. The Reading Festival is here, which means it's the end of the summer. So it's uh, always a highlight. Great fun. Yeah, I mean, it's, I guess its roots are kind of in hard rock, which is what our roots are in, so uh, I mean, every single one of our favourite bands ever has pretty much played here. This is like our fifth or sixth year doing it, and we love it. We always have a great time. We're hopefully going to see Arcade Fire, Block Party, and uh, we are scientists, but we're, uh, unfortunately, we're doing tons of press, so we're missing a lot of good bands just now, but it's, them's the breaks, them's the breaks. Uh, we're going to party, we've got actually got four days off, our first four days off in about seven weeks after Leeds tomorrow, so we're going to have a hell of a weekend. It's Ben and James's brother's birthday as well, so many a reason to celebrate. Hellish. The work tour is, <laughs> the work tour is pretty serious. Um, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of harder than this, and a lot of shit bands. But it was fun. <laughs> Do you want to name names? Uh, no. Too, too many to mention. It's 90% of them. to name the good ones. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Us, Gallows, and the matches. Fear of a friend. Fear of a friend. Uh, the Only four best bands on the tour. And then we uh, we go sh go to America next Saturday to tour with a band called Editors, and then we do three weeks in Europe, and then we tour America with Queens of the Stone Age, and then we come back to do our UK tour in November. Mm -hmm. We got a busy time of it. Our favourite festival this year has been and for me. It's been um, Pukul Pop in uh, Belgium. Incredible festival. First time I've done it. And it's really well run and it's got a really great diverse lineup. New favourite festival. Hoping to be usurped by uh, Reading today, obviously. Of course. It's dead easy. I mean, festivals are just such a laugh. You know, it's great fun for everyone, I think. Um, harder work for the, the, paying, the paying punters. Um, yeah, probably 72 hours of uh, <laughs> hell if, it, if it's pissing it down, but yeah. uh, it's kind of easy for us. We're, we're lucky. Uh, if a fan came onto our tour bus, they would see Neil or Tour Manager screaming down the corridor. <laughs> to basically rip the lips, uh, lips apart. Uh, that, that's kind of how we roll. Neil, Neil's a bit of a militant tour manager. And, uh, yeah. okay. but bring your fascism back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we don't, yeah, we don't, uh, our door's always open. Just come and try it and see, and see what it's like. We're, we're normally just hanging around actually most of the yeah, time. Yes, we're yeah. fairly, fairly boring souls. We have our party when we're on stage. And uh, just on the tour bus, we decide to keep it chill, watch a few movies, have a few beers, but you wouldn't see anything too out of the autumn, yeah, I don't think. We wouldn't show it to a stranger here, we wouldn't yeah. when, we, when we are on stage, it's at festivals it's incredible, you know, because you're you're playing to a lot of people that know your stuff and probably equal amounts of folk that have just heard a tune or, or are familiar with your band name or something. So it's always an incredible experience when you go out and you get a great reception at you know at British festivals and um, it's a thrill, you know, we, we wouldn't have been doing this for, for years if, if it wasn't a complete thrill every time we did it, you know. And, uh, as I said before, we've got an easy, easy life and we love it.